Yep, this is her room. Oh, wow. Oh, those his friends? Yeah, it must be Cloud Tifa and some other guys. Oh, yeah, look at this. Young Cloud was gonna want to kind of come over. But what happened? Guess so. Oh, you live next to each other. Well, that probably explains how they grew up so well together. What was she on about, though? She didn't look too excited to see him. Huh. Yeah, threesome, but why wouldn't Cloud be here? I thought he came over, like you said, Tifa. This is all very confusing, it must be for you guys, if you have no idea what's going on. But if I don't really get to the point, eventually, later, I'll just explain what's going on. Well, reminds me of my life. So many kids in my school are immature, too. What the? Okay, we need a third cloud, really? Jeez. Oh, he thought she hated him. Yeah, Cloud thought she hated him. There's one scene that you're gonna see in just a sec, guys the reason why he's acting like this. It's like when you paste, paste all the scenes together, it all makes sense in its own way. Like just think of all the scenes we've had earlier, like on disc one and stuff like that. That day. Now we're gonna get into that scene I was talking about. I love the music that's plays here too. Yeah, her mother died. That's kind of the reason why she was all upset and he, she didn't want Cloud to be here. Well, maybe not necessarily. Maybe she wasn't dead quite yet. She just didn't know when she wanted to find her because she went away. Yeah. Oh, she did. That's really bad. And yes, this is all from when they were young. This is years ago. Tifa and the gang, but Cloud's not here. Currently, they're all going. Oh, but that kid's just gonna chicken out and go back. So there go Tifa and the two guys. And here comes Cloud. She, he's right over there. There we go. Aw, oh, he's gonna run all the way over there just to meet up with them. It's a really touching moment. I mean, Final Fantasy has its moments when it's just... Incredible. But wait, Tifa, stop. Cloud's here to see you. Oh man, they're gonna go back too. And here comes Cloud. The hell? Why are Cloud and young why are young Cloud and Tifa not responding? Oh no. Oh man. Oh, you only scarred your knees, but what happened to Tifa? Why 
What? Wasn't my fault. Yeah, she was knocked out. Apparently, wow. Apparently they ended up both being comas, Cloud being more recent, of course. It's I find that kind of weird. Think back then she was out for seven days and just recently back when Shinra took us, she fell out unconscious again for seven days. Guess history repeats itself. So that's the reason why Cloud was didn't want to be with Tifa because she fought he thought she hated him for that. And that's the reason he joined soldiers, so that way he could prove to be strong and be more trustworthy. Hopefully Tifa will respect him again. Yep, he wanted to be noticed by Tifa. But in the end, it, he didn't really have to. I know. What, back when they were eight? And what, are they like adults now? Jesus. Oh yeah, that's a fud. If Cloud was made five years ago, how did he remember all that when he was younger? And now, Cloud goes back to his normal self. He wants to go back to Nibelheim, so let's go see what's up there now. So now what? What's changed since last time? Seems like Cloud's trying to actually get his mojo back together. Well, first off, you've noticed this, but he's actually moving again. So that's a good sign. But his, his thoughts are still clouded. No pun intended. I didn't mean to make that sound funny at all. Oh yeah, the reactor, all the way back then when Sethroth killed her father and brutally injured Tifa. Wait, okay good, and I was like, they're not gonna show us go them going all the way there, right? Yeah, back then. Yep, Tifa got hurt badly. And now I remember, we're almost done with this, guys. It's been a long scene. This is going to take a few parts at least. It's that black haired guy again. So basically, it wasn't Cloud this whole time? Are you serious? Zack? Is that his name? Just heard mention of that. Zack? wasn't Cloud, it was Zack, but who's Zack? My voice keeps cracking. Oh, God! Oh, wow, I landed right on the pod. Wait, how did he see everything? He took Zack's sword, that guy did. Oh, nice. That guy's got balls. But who's under that mask? Well, whoever he was, he just nailed Sephiroth right, up, right on him with the sword. It was Cloud the whole time. He was one of the soldiers. Turns out, it wasn't him who went with Sephiroth, he was just one of the soldiers while Zack was with him. See? He was the one in disguise the whole time. Now, who saw that coming? I mean, really. 